Hi, I'm Vanessa. Uh, of, of, yes, uh, Bernard uh, told me about you. Oh, yeah. um, I'm so sorry for your loss. Like, I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through and... It's okay, it's okay. Thank you, thank you once again. You're welcome. Please take it easy. Of course. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Please accept my sympathy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have you seen Bernard? No, why? Why? Um, because I remember he stepped out to take a call or something, but I can't find him. And I've checked outside. Have you have you tried calling him? Separately, I've called him and he's not going through right now. Are you okay? Uh, Abel. Yeah, what? Are you okay? <sighs> How can I be okay? How? Moments ago, there were a lot of people here crying, mourning with me. And then, how many of them really, really knew her? Yes, they, they knew her by name, but. They didn't know her like that. How many of them were there for her when she needed them the most? And all the police, police, the police still, they still think there's something fishy about her dad. Did you? Um, what are they saying? I didn't want to hear any of it. As a matter of fact, I. I suggested that he close the case. My wife is dead. And her spirit should be left to rest. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm telling her, like, okay, you know what? Let's just go. She's just no, she just runs away. I'm just... Bro, are you, are you here? You're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. 
Are you okay? Yes, of course, I'm fine. Do the form hard guy. You can talk to me. What's going on? What's wrong with you? Bennett, I am fine. I know you're not fine, but what are you going to drink? Huh? I'm already having this. After this, I, I'll just have water. I'm good. Are you joking? We're going to have something to drink, something to eat. Guy, loosen up now. It's not the end of the world. I know you're still hurting, right? But then you got to move on. Move on? Yeah. It's just been two months since my wife died. Are you telling me to move on? If she was here, she would want you to do the same thing. We have to move on, man. Huh? And uh, yeah, I can arrange stuff for you. you know? No. <laughs> no, thank you. Just to calm you down. I will pass. Anyway, let's let's let's, let's try this. <laughs> Don't pretend like you didn't see what I saw now. What's Oh. Hmm? Bro, okay, if it's not her, I can... I got a couple ben, of chicks I can ben call. I'm fine, I'm okay, okay? Just respect my wish for us. Is that too much to ask? That's all right, it's fine. It's fine, right? She's not bad, though. Uh, and she's got a tight ass. Okay, let's go. Um, let's get something to eat. Bro, man, you're gonna grow old with veins on your head. Take it easy now, huh? Calm down, calm down. Who's that? Hey. Hi. I thought you were not coming again. I'm sick. Uh-huh. Thank you. What do you want to drink? Not sure for your husband. Sure about that? Mm -hmm. huh. I'll get you something real quick. Just hold on. Okay. What's that your name again? Christabel. Christabel. Yeah. Mm. Well, come here. Okay. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Smoke? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, no problem. Try this one. Just don't try it. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. Take your drink. Take your drink. You push it down. <coughs> uh -huh. Nice. Like it? Come close to me. Hmm? Aha. Relax. You said you have a high phone. I don't bite. 
And you don't buy it as well, do you? But if you buy it, it's okay. You know? Bites me. Officer, I am telling you not to proceed with any investigation. Mr. Gabriel, we have reason to believe your wife was assaulted before she died. Now what? We need your approval to proceed with the exhumation of the body. Can you, can you hear yourself? I'm afraid, yes, sir. Well, I am not afraid. This is the fifth time we're going about this. This is the fifth time. I'm, I'm tired of coming to your office. I'm tired of giving you answers. I'm tired of going over and over and over and over again and not having any results. I am tired. So I am putting it to you, Mr. Officer. Do not exhume my wife's body and do not proceed with any investigation. Do you hear me? And if you do without my consent, I will lawyer up. And you don't want me to do that. Mr. Bell, hmm? you ready for me? Mm. You are sick. <laughs> Story of my life. But you enjoyed it, huh? I'll call you some other time. Hello, baby. Uh, uh, I've been sleeping. I'm so tired. I've been, I've been sleeping. Your friend's birthday. How could I forget? I'll be there. Yeah, um, I'm fine. Yeah, um, it's really tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. You know, let me call you back. I'm so drowsy. I'll call you back, huh, baby? I'll call you. keep forgetting their panties here. Now come on, do you live here or what? She's a good girl, uh, I like her. What's up? Tonight? Nah, no, not tonight. I'm tired. Um, I'll pick it up another day. Tomorrow seems like a perfect day. Yeah, trust me, you would you would have fun. You would enjoy yourself. Hmm? You'll like it. Okay, no problem. So we'll talk tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you broke girls. <laughs>
I'm just trying to get some action. Baby, hmm? can I stay back, please? You can't, son. Why, please? Babe, we've thought about this before, now you can't. But why? Just because I said you can't. Bernard, what am I to you? Why can't I stay at your place? Oh, God, is this what we're doing now? Yes, this is what we're doing. Why can't I stay at your place? It's what we're doing right now. Tell me that law, that rule that forbids me from staying in your house. You can't. That's what I said. It's, you can't. Okay? You can't. You know what? I'm done with this. To what? hell with you. What are you, okay, what are you doing now? I'll find my way. But there's a come on. Stop now. Where are you going? Where is she going now? What's wrong with this girl? What is your problem? You won't stay at my place. You won't stay at my place for what? Where is she going on? Hey. No, I'm, I'm really? sorry, I'm sorry. Why would you even do this? Do you know how long I've been waiting here? I know, I'll make it up to you, okay? I'm sorry. Like an hour now, I've been waiting. Did you order anything? I didn't. Okay, let's go. Okay. For me, are you ready for me? Yeah, yeah. Hey, pretty. Where's my money? Mm -mm. Come on. Don't make it seem like I had all the fun. Get your filthy hands filthy off me. Now. Except you don't want to get paid. Huh? Not so soon. What exactly do you want from me? Be nice. Kiss me. Finish the job that you started and the money is yours. It's that simple. It's not complicated. Is, is that a kiss? Really? Can I have my money now? Get your hands off me. There you go. You know what? You're so damaged. Ooh. And whoever she is, I'm sure she probably thinks that she's in love with a human being. But what she doesn't know is that she's about to have the most disastrous heartbreak ever being with a beast like you. Preach, Master. Preach it. You need help! <laughs> Oof. Oof. <sighs>
use that one. Who's there? Babe. What, are you gonna let me in or what? Uh, I tried calling you last night. Mm hmm After pissing me off. What? I just said you couldn't come here. That's what I said. Why? Bernard, why can't I come to your house? Like, what do you take me for? Some street girl? You're my girlfriend. No. Because from where it stands, it doesn't look like it. Like, like anytime I ask to come over to your house, you just blow me off. But, but we spend time together. That's what matters. Oh, in hotel rooms. Bernard, we spend time in hotel rooms, right? Because you're, you're ashamed of people seeing me in public with you. Come on, Vanessa. Look, look, you have to tell me right now if, if we are serious in this thing. Like, really, you have to tell me because I, I, I need an explanation right now. Vanessa, let me go fix you something to eat, okay? Just stay put. Okay. Um, upstairs. Why did you go upstairs? Nothing. I just went, I just took a tour of my boyfriend's house. Why are you snooping around? Why, why are you going upstairs? Bernard, I said I took a tour of your house. Like, this is my first time here. Is it a crime to, to, to look around? No! So what? Just, just go. Just, just leave already. Just... I should what? I don't know why. Why, why are you stooping around? Why are you going up and down my house? Look, if I step out that door, I'm not coming back to this house. <laughs> you can't stop, Joe. I can't. What's that supposed to mean? 
Is there anybody that can give you what I'm giving you? Hmm? There's no one. You know what? To hell with you. To hell with this, this stupid house. To hell with everything. Vanessa. Are you, are you, are you joking? Invite Vanessa. Do you want her to find out? Okay, so if you don't want her to find out, why do you keep doing this? You know this is wrong, right? What are you talking about? I pay these girls and they do their job. That's you what they pay do. the girls and they do their job. Okay. And so how about the handful part? Do you have to assault these girls? I mean, it's bad enough that you are cheating on Vanessa. I don't care about Vanessa anymore. I don't. And yet here you are talking about her? You love her. That is why you cannot oh, treat her like this, other girls. That is exactly why you hide this part of you. That is it. Okay, you know what? I have a meeting. Fix yourself a drink. I'm going to work. I know. Hey. What do you want? Um, baby, I, I, I want to start together. What? Really? Okay, let's just talk, please. Fine, I'll go first. I'm sorry about the other day. It's okay. It's okay. I... Baby, I just want to be back together. That's why I came here. To talk to you, to resolve things. I miss you. Let's just get to some form of resolution or something. Please. That's why you came to block me. Uh... Yes. Let's go. I'm going to be doing love and romance here. <laughs> Let's go. Ding.
What is Boo? You lied to him? Are you going to help me or not? If you lied to him, what makes you any different? Ah, I need to know if he's harming himself. I'm doing this because I love him, Abel. Okay. Wouldn't you have done everything in your power to save Lydia? Don't you dare bring my wife's name into this. You know what I mean. You know how it feels to have someone dear to you need your help. Ebo, you know, you've known Bernard longer than I have. You should, you should have seen signs. If he's harming himself, please help me. Please. You don't know anything. You don't know nothing. Don't contact me again. Abel. Abel. I can't believe this. Uh -uh. So you think I will call you out here to waste your time and waste my time just to lay fake allegations against my best friend? I don't know. You may be jealous of him. <laughs> Je Je what? Okay, look. I don't have time for this, eh? I'll be leaving. Listen, listen. Look at me. Listen. You said that I have known Bernard earlier than you. Yes, I have. And you also said that I know what is wrong with him. That is, that is it. Okay, okay. Let's say Bernard is the abuser you say he is, which I do not believe because he has never laid a finger on me. Why then are you still his friend? Look, I have known about Bernard's sexual escapades and his vile acts with women he had sex with. For a long time now. And you said nothing. He doesn't rape this woman. They give themselves to him willingly and they get paid for it. Okay? But the one thing I know that I will bet my life on is that my wife would never cheat on me. She would never. Lydia. Yes, my... My late wife. Okay, I don't understand. I'm confused. Are you not listening to a word I've said? I found documents. I found medical reports showing that my wife was assaulted before she died. 
Okay, and I'm sorry about that, but uh, what does that have to do with her phone? You went through your late wife's phone. Don't be ridiculous. I, I was going through her things and I saw it. Look. You know what, Abel? I really don't have to help. Hey, no, listen, li listen to me. You do no such thing, okay? Oh, I'm an abuser now. I'm an abuser now. But I paid you. I paid you to do what I wanted you to do. You will not threaten me. You will not threaten You go to the police. Go to the police. Be my guest. Get off my phone, my friend. Go to the police. Go to the police. Go to the police. Hmm. Oh shit. Hey, Leah. Hey. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. You know we don't have to go to the hotel if you don't want to. No, no, no. Baby. Hmm? I want to spend the night in your place. You said, are you sure? Um, yeah. But, baby. Huh? I want you to screw my brains out tonight in your bed. Hmm? Okay.
Hello. Good evening, officer. I know it's late. It's about my wife's case. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ibel, we need to talk. Hey. Um, hey. Look who's up early. <laughs> someone had to wake up early. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, someone hey. had to. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I, uh, I think it's the onions. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. What are we having for breakfast? Um, I see bread. Mm -hmm. What else are we having? I see eggs. Oh, anything His Majesty wants to have. You sure about that? Mm. What if I want you <laughs> as the main dish? Huh? <laughs> what if I want you as the main dish? Mm. Mm? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm? Oh, that can work. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe you shouldn't finish cooking this. Let me just whisk you away. Okay, um, but I'm thinking. Mm. Okay, let's go. You sure? Okay, okay let's go. <laughs> my late wife was asthmatic. The slightest choke, the slightest suffocation, even smoke can make her collapse. Take a look at her, she was fragile. I took care of her, and I vowed to protect her until the day she dies. 
Honestly, Ivo, I, I can't believe it. I can believe it. But what I cannot believe is that the man who calls himself my best friend, who is supposed to look after my wife, who is supposed to look out for my wife, in my absence, killed her. He killed my wife. He assaulted my wife. But you know what I'm going to do. I am going to kill him. I will make him beg for his death. Hey, Abel, where, where are you going to? Where are you going to? What do you want to do? Abel, what were you trying to do? He killed my wife. He assaulted my wife. And he hid the evidence and he was lying to me the whole time. That is what he did. So what, so what, you, you, you want to go and challenge him? You want to challenge Bernard? Okay, Abel, first things first. He is going to hide any evidence we would have built against him. He will hide it. Yes. What evidence are you talking about? Speak to me, Vanessa. What evidence are you talking about? Okay. Okay, so last night when he was asleep, he was murmuring. And he said some really strange things that got me thinking. He sounded violent. Like, he didn't sound like himself. He didn't sound like the Bernard I know. And I realized that maybe you might have a point. You might be right about him. I don't care who he is. I don't care what he says, but I swear. I, I am going to kill him. Hey, Bill. He has no idea what is coming for him. Abel, there's a proper way of doing things. If you want to get justice for your wife, please do it the right way. Like, like, uh, there's a right way to do this. But Vanessa, thing. don't tell me about the police. I don't want to hear about the police. Abel, the police, yes, the police. What are you saying? There was a detective you were talking to. Do you happened? think this is my first radio with the police? This is not the first time, this is not the second time, neither the third. Over my dead body, would I allow another man avenge the death of my wife? I, I know, I, Abel, I know. I know how you're feeling. In, in fact, I don't know how you're feeling. I can only imagine. But think with your head, not your heart. I am not thinking. I am vengeful. Look, if Bernard so much as suspects that we are, we are going against him or we are, we are up to something, our lives are at risk. Like, our he, he, he might kill me. So please, just calm down, please. <sighs> Are you sure you want to proceed with this? Because you love him. It is written all over your face. You love him. Okay. The Bernard I love is gone. This is Bernard, but I don't know who he is. He's a different person. What if he's found guilty? Well, when I get to that bridge, I'll cross it. I'll just have to learn to leave without him. This is easier said than done, Vanessa. It's easier said than done. Oh, hey, hey. Is this? Um, yeah, this is uh, Detective uh, Peter and uh, you know, this is Vanessa Bennett's girlfriend. Very well then. Um, let's get down to it, shall we? Sure. Okay, so um, Mr. Abel, you said you believe your wife went to Mr. Bernard for some money to help you out of the country you were. I'll be done telling you for a fact. There is no how, no where she could have gotten the money from. Okay, so what if he just gave her the money? What if he 
willingly gave her the money without forcing her to have sex with him. Officer, are you kidding me right now? Or do I look like a joke to you? You specifically called me on the day of my wife's funeral and you told me there was something fishy about her death and now you were here asking me all the questions? Um, actually, we're just trying to get it right. You are the damn police and you should do your freaking job! Okay, um, Abel, calm down, yeah? Okay, let's just uh, try to get more evidence, right? Let's be sure that what we're talking about here is true. Okay. Let's be 100% sure. Well, actually, right now, there's no evidence ties Can everybody just shut up? So what happens to all of the evidence, all of the medical reports, all of the documents that I've given to you? Are they not evidence enough? Look, if you cannot do your job, I will take the law into my own hands and I will stick a knife into his head by myself. Hey, Bill, please calm down. Um, detectives, we will get more evidence. That's what we need right now, more evidence. Yes, um, Mr. Abel, one more thing. The both of you will have to keep a clear face and a wonderful appearance before him. A wonderful appearance by mothering him by myself. Uh, uh, yeah, and one more thing. Um, from what we have gathered, we noticed um, it's the only two of you that you have confidence on. So I would like the both of you to act normally around him and make him trust you both the more. Okay? That's we'll, all. We'll try our best. Speak for yourself, Vanessa. Speak only for yourself. Mr. Abel, you have to calm down. If you kill this man, you will go to jail. Abel, calm down. Come on. Detectives, trust me. We will try. All right. Hey you, you missed the best part when I started this whole fiasco. Hmm? Oh. 
Why are you looking like that? You look like you uncovered the murder. Oh. I'm just joking. Look at your face. Look at your face. Anyway, I think I have all what I need here. There's Maggie, there's thyme, there's curry, there's crayfish, there's tomato sauce, there's pepper, there's tomato itself. Um, We're going to have a feast. Wow. I didn't know you could cook so well. Oh, well, that's because you've not lived with me, so how would you know? True, true. Um, Bernard, hmm? wh why now? Like all of a sudden, why, why now? What do you mean, why now? I mean, like, you never let me, you know, come to your house. Now, all of a sudden, you're inviting me to spend the night and... What if I now tell you I want you to move in with me? Like, come and live here with me. Uh, what? What do you mean, what? Isn't that what you always wanted? Well, no, I mean, I mean, yes, but I just... But, 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 but Vanessa! You're going to move with me. And that's on period. <laughs> sure. Good. Sure. Now let me go, 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 go. Let me finish this masterpiece, okay? Yeah. And then you will eat, you would enjoy it, you would thank me. Sure. In many ways than one. <laughs> hmm? Well done. Thank you. The master is at work, let him walk. Okay. Good. You said it was nice. Oh yes, it's delicious. <laughs> but you barely touched it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. Vanessa, are you okay? You've been edgy since you got here. Oh, I am. I am. It's just that I'm, um, I'm a little tired. That's all. Nothing much. Are you sure? Mhm, mm mhm. Mm and by the way, if I decide to move in, mm -hmm. it's because of this. Top notch. <laughs> I'm at your service. I'll cook for you morning, noon, and night. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you want to eat. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite food? Oh, um, when I visited Akwai Bum, I tried Ekan Koko. It's amazing. I love it. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Why don't you choose something simple? <laughs> but I'll make it. Okay. I'll make it. Don't okay. worry. Yeah, it's one. This, this, I can't. You get, what are you talking about? Hey, bro, have you seen him? Have you seen Bernard? You seen who? Bernard! <laughs> this guy is so caring. He's so loving. Hey, bro, he's so sweet. Like, how, how can he be this other person? How can, how can be, how can Bernard do this I'm now? Asked. I asked if he could do this. I don't know what to do. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Really, I don't. Because 
See, he made dinner for me last night. You should have seen him, really. You should have seen this guy, April. How can you love someone and the person is the person turns out to be this whole this this whole other human being that you don't know? How how can how can you define him? Do you know what this means? Oh, do you know what this means? Hey, bro. Vanessa. Uh. Vanessa. Look. Hey, bro. I want justice for my wife. But I cannot do it without you. I can't. I know what I have to do. I, I know. I know. But this is this is Bernard. You know what I have to do. You mean me? This what means you? I'm going to lose him. You know that, right? This means I'm losing Bernard. Let, let me just take this call. Who's that? Hello, detective. Yes, yes. All right. What did he say? Put us in your bag, we have to go. Is there any call? Is everything okay? Someone came forward. Who? A witness came to report an assault. A lady. What? And from our information we got, Mr. Bennett is the accused. What? Well, I shouldn't be doing this. You know what's happened when you stall in cases like this. Now, this is the lady that came for us. What is it? Have you met her before? Speak of Vanessa, have you met her before? Yes, yes, I I've seen her once on the street outside Bernard's compound. I see. So. There's something I found in his apartment. Uh, well, you don't have to bring it out um, if it's visible. Okay? You can come with it to the station. You can get it there. So, with all this evidence, we're getting a list to warrant soon. So, until then, I suggest you keep up an appearance. You. Very well. That will be all for now. Hmm? Just take care. No. Thank you very much, detectives.
This is my fault! My fault! My fault! Well, um, some DNA sample was found on the object in his room. With his prints on them, of course. And, uh, and then what, what, what happened? Well, uh, following your approval yes. to exhume your wife's corpse, the DNA shows that your wife died as a result of complications from a physical assault. I knew it! I knew that bastard killed my wife and I will slit his throat by myself! Hey, 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 Mr. Hebel. I suggest you just calm down. Allow us to do our job, okay? We promise we'll get him arrested. When? Tomorrow, of course. What the hell do you mean by tomorrow? Look, some paperwork needs to be done, okay? In the meantime, I advise you to stay away from him. Just don't contact him, please. I hate you. I hate you. I hate the police. I hate all of you. We love you. The police is your friend. Yes, we're your friend. He needs to calm down. I understand how he feels, but he just has to. I know, I know. I'll talk to him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, it's fine. Uh, right. Tomorrow. So tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow.
Yeah, who's there? Hey, hey, what's up? You didn't tell me you were you were coming. Uh, is everything okay? Happy. Hey, Bill, I'm fine. What? What's going on here? It's over, Bernard. It's over. What? You said this is the man. Oh, wait. I know you guys. Area F, right? From Lawa. Yes, that's our boss. Okay, so what are you doing here? What's this about? Mr. Bernard. Yeah, that's my name. Uh, um. I'm sorry we can't do this. What are you talking about? You can't do what? Oga, please arrest him. Arrest him. Officer, Oga. you said you can't do what? You better calm down. What's your Don't you tell me to calm down! Oga. You Oga. killed my wife! What? You did! Don't you say that? I can't. I can't. How would you do that? How would you do that? How would you do How would you do that? 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 How you do you you will not. What if it was your, your, your sister or your, your daughter here? Is that what you say? Listen, madam. Please arrest this man. No, listen to me. This is bigger than you think. Exactly. Oh, so he, he bribed your boss. Hey, madam. That's what's happening. Madam, like you're talking I said to the before. Watch your tongue. You're talking to the police. You have to be careful. Look, um, uh, uh, Bernard, if you speak to me again, if your filthy hands come near me, Oga, arrest this man. Arrest him now! Arrest this man! Because I promise you, I'm a journalist, if you do not arrest him, tomorrow, this news, what's happening here is going to be plastered on the front page. Put him in cuffs now! Uh, Mr. Bennett, you are under arrest. Hey, watch the next thing that comes out of your mouth. Be very careful. We don't care who your father is. We're here to do our job. Whatever you say or do, will be used against you in the courts of law. Get him. Shall we, Mr. Bernard? Let's go. Move. Don't you f***ing bro me. Mr. Bernard, move. Easy. Easy, move. Easy. 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 move. Can you check if we are doing our job? Move. So this is where he killed my wife and heed all the evidence. This is it. Abel, nothing I can say will bring her back, but just find a little bit of peace in the fact that you're on the path to justice. He will go to jail, Bernard will go to jail, and you would have gotten just, Abel. 